It's not my agenda. It is what I felt we needed to do to make Nigeria move forward. There is nothing in that memo that raised me as, 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 as having a role in any of the decisions. All I was interested in was analyzing the political, economic, and governance challenges that we were facing at the federal level and making suggestions for the president to, 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 to make rectification. That was all. I had nothing to gain from writing this, that memo. And even when I was writing the memo, I knew that one day it would leak. I had the choice of sending the memo without putting my name. But I signed it because I believe in what was in that memo. I believe it was in the best interest of the president and Nigeria. I was driven by my love and respect for him and my gratitude to him because it is because, largely because of Buhari that I'm governor today. And I appreciate that. And it is out of love for Nigeria and for Nigeria to be back on track that I wrote that memo. I challenge anyone to take anything that I wrote in that memo or I recommended in that memo that is not in the interest of Nigeria or that is to serve Nasir Arufai's interest. I had no, I had no interest.